little Torino KDG here, author of the book Ladies Let's Be Frank. Give me a minute. I'm kidding. <laughs> Torino, it's good to make yourself laugh sometimes. Alright people, there is something really important we need to know. There's something that will really propel you in this life forward. There's something that you need to know that will help you be all you can be in this life. There is a way for everything in this life to be done. You need to know that in this life, there is a way everything is to be done. There's a way to get married. There's a way to write. There's a way to get an official degree saying you have a bachelor's degree or something. There is a way to know God. There is a way to love people. There is a way for everything. There is a way to get from Chicago to Wisconsin and back again. You can wish upon a star till tomorrow and say, I wish upon a star. I would love to learn how to write English. But until you pick up that pen and accept the fact that S is written like this, and not like this, you will be well on your way to writing. You could argue till tomorrow, why do we have to write S like that? Why can't we write it like this? People are going to look at you and say, why are you wasting your time? That's the question we have for you. Why are you wasting your time? Why well, don't accept the fact that um, if you notice everybody else in this world and the way they write in English, they write S like this. They don't write S like this. Okay? Save yourself some heartache. Accept the fact that that's how you write S. And before you know it, you start writing the S like the pros in this world. You will in fact join the club, the S club. The, 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 the people who write S perfectly. You feel me? There is a way to get married. You will say, why, why are we going to have a marriage license? Because that's the only way the state recognizes marriage. That's the way that was provided to show you married. Again, you could argue, you could rebel, but what it does is just delay your advancement forward because you don't want to accept the proper way things are set in stone to take place. There's a way for someone to become the president. You could wish you the president till tomorrow. You could even have positive thinking about it. You could focus on it all you want. But until you run in an election, you are not going to become the president of the United States. Sorry to break it to you. So it's better for us to accept the fact that in this life, there is a way everything should be done. I know sometimes it's hard because we live in a society where they talk about being unique, being an individual, being all this, we're special. And I'm not arguing about that. Yes, we are. Okay? But first you need to learn how things, the way things are done. You need to learn how to write an S. And then maybe when you start learning how to write, the proper way to write an S and what an S looks like, then maybe you add your own little signature to it and you, yeah, no, you kind of put up the upper part of the S, you kind of tilt it up a little bit. You know? But as long as the rest of the world can recognize the fact it's an S, you good to know. Do your thing. Tilt it off till tomorrow. Color it yellow. You know my matter. But people know it's an S. You've written S the proper way. There's definitely one person that can tell you how your life should be. The way your life should run. The way your life should go. And that's the person who made you. I come again to the... Let's, let's think of a computer for instance. The person who created the computer, the first computer, told us, this is how you do this. Somehow, I don't know if it's the first computer or whatever, but the person who created the keyboard for the computer said, the reason why the keyboard is there so that if you want to write an email to Susan, you can press the letters corresponding with what you want to say, and click send, and it goes to Susan. You could argue with the person who made the computer till tomorrow and say, why can't it be that way? Well, they made that thing, so they know what parts were needed for that thing to run effectively, and they just told you. See, 
Like I've always said, God has a manual for our life. He knows the way our life is supposed to run. The best way we can know how our life is supposed to run is by knowing Him personally. And the only way to know God is through Jesus Christ. A lot, if you look at um, history, they talk about Jesus Christ. And a lot of people say he was a good man. There was nothing, no one could put any blame on him. Nobody could ever say anything bad about him. But he said one bold statement, man. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the fire except by me in John 14 6. So I think to myself, why in the world would people say this man is so good? He, he's saying a lie by saying he's the way to God. He didn't say I'm one of the ways, he said he's the way. So maybe that's something to think about. If a good man, someone who was blameless in the eyes of a lot of people, could actually say a bold statement like that, he probably knows what he's talking about. And God said, this is my son in whom I am well pleased, in the Bible also. So there is a way to have a relationship with God and that's through Jesus Christ. There is a way to live a happy married life. There is no two ways about it. There is got to be commitment, there is got to be love, there is got to be faithfulness, there is got to be trust, there is supposed to be unity. Okay? You could argue till tomorrow and say, well, did you, really? Does it have to be all that? But yeah, it does. Because like I said, in this life there is a way everything should be done. And the sooner we accept that there is a way everything should be done, and we settle ourselves in that fact, we can start finding out the way things should be done. And a good way is definitely through the person who made you. And also, looking at the characteristics of people who have been successful in these things. If you want to know how to write, look at people who supposedly are writing. What are they doing? How do they write their letters? Then you know, oh, oh, light bulb, there's a way to write letters. And it's only one way. An A is an A is an A. You don't write an A like a K. As much as you wish it to be an A, it is a K. You just wrote a K. So there's a proper way to write each letter. Observe the characteristics of people who have been um, successful in the areas you want to be in and see the common characteristics of what they're doing and follow the proper way things are done. I really hope you settle yourself in this because it requires a lot of structure, it requires a lot of discipline and it requires just acceptance, acceptance of the fact that once we know the way things should be done and we follow it, we can move forward. Instead of wasting our time and spending our time arguing about why that has to be the, the way things are done. Why? Why do that? I don't think a lot of people were arguing when they were trying to learn how to walk that, oh, why, why do I got to um, put my leg forward, uh, stand up on my feet to be able to walk, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I don't really see a lot of uh, toddlers that were arguing about that. They were just excited to discover what everybody else in the world has discovered, the way to walk. And they start walking, taking steps, and they're having the time of their life. Just as you accepted those things in your life, accept the fact that it's a way everything should be done in this life. And when you're accepting, then you can start moving forward. Find out the way. Find out what people, uh, um, success, how successful people in those areas have done. Follow the way. You'll be all right. Finally, people, have a friend day. Really, I mean, I, I'm, I'm serious. Have a friend day. Now we friend with you. Bye.